Hey guys, it's PC Cool Kid, and today I'm going to show you how to partition a drive. Um, this is very useful if you want to uh, install Linux or any Linux distribution onto your computer, or any operating system for that fact. Um, it's a really simple process. Um, if you stick to my steps, you won't mess anything up, so don't worry. Um, so what you're going to do, you're going to go to your start menu, and on computer, you're going to right click and you're going to go to manage. Now, um, this works for XP and Vista. Um, I think XP is set up a little bit different, uh, but anyway, in the UAC, you press continue. Wait for the computer management to pop up. Okay, it's up, and now what you're going to do, you're going to go down to storage, and you're going to click on disk management. Now, in order to do this process, I'm pretty sure you have to be an administrator, so being an administrator on your computer would be very helpful for this. Um, so, uh, here you have different volumes for your computer and what type and file system it is. Um, so, what you're going to do, you're just going to right click on this disk zero uh, and you're going to go to your C drive. Uh, you're going to click on your C drive and disk zero. You're going to right click it and you're going to go to shrink volume. Uh, sometimes you won't have disk 1 uh, this is just uh, my mp3 player that's charging right now so uh, don't worry about that um, so this is how much you want to shrink or how much you want to put into your new drive now what it does it takes um, it takes all the space out of your C drive and puts it into a new virtual drive um, so you're gonna put in how much you want uh, for the new virtual drive um, now remember uh, 1024 megabytes is one gigabyte. Uh, so let's do 1024, and remember that's one gig. Uh, if you're gonna install a new operating system, uh, you should probably put in about 20 gigabytes. Or uh, let's see, calculator. Okay, so one gigabyte times 20. That's how much megabytes you should put in your new volume. Uh, 20,480 20, megabytes, so I recommend that. It doesn't have to be exactly 1024, it can be any number uh, as long as it's um, below the max size. You can't go above the max size, um, but yeah, okay. So we're going to shrink the volume, and this might take a while. If it does, I'll just speed it up. Okay, so now you have one gigabyte of unallocated space, or how many you put in. Um, now in order to turn this into a drive, you would right click it, and you'd go to new simple volume. Alright, now the setup wizard is going to come up, you just got to click on next. And you're going to put in how many um, megabytes uh, this is, I recommend. Always put in the maximum size, uh, that way you won't have anything left over. Um, so you click on next and now you can um, assign it a letter uh, so like you can't do C because the C drives already taken up it's just do uh, a J um, so you can mount in an NTFS folder uh, or you don't have to assign a drive letter path if you don't want to um, or a drive letter or drive path I mean um, so once you have the drive letter, you click next, and it has to be NTFS. Uh, you can label it anything you want. Uh, let's do OS new. Um, I recommend that you do a quick format, a uh, quick format, um, but I'm not gonna do that because it takes a little bit of time, and I'm not actually doing an operating system on this. Uh, so you gotta click next, and you gotta click finish. Now this may also take some time, so if it does, I'll speed that up too. Okay, so now you have a new virtual drive, a uh, new virtual drive that now has um, all that space on it. So as you see here, if you go to computer, you know you now have two drives. Um, if you want to delete this drive, it's really easy. You just right-click on the drive, close this out. 
you right click on the drive and you go to delete volume uh, it'll ask you if you're sure that you want to delete it you click on yes and now you have the free space again and then you right click that and you go to delete partition then you click yes again and now you have that unallocated space now people usually don't know how to put this space back onto your uh, first drive um, but it's really easy uh, you just click on the C drive again you right click it and then you go to extend volume now it'll extend this volume onto this uh, unallocated space it's really easy just right click click on extend volume click next uh, you make sure that the disk that you want to add to it all the unallocated space is selected you click next again and then you click finish and there you go now you are back to OneDrive uh, with the same exact amount of space that you had before you partitioned um, so there you go guys hope it helps thanks for watching bye